The title for today's lecture is, Are the Internet Destroying Language? Actually, the title is, Are the Internets Destroying Language? But I made a typo in creating this PowerPoint, which uh, caused me a lot of amusement because the whole kind of point of the title is the idea that internet is changing how people's grammar rules work and things like that. So anyways, a little bit of linguistic humor for your morning, I decided to leave the typo in. Today, though, we're going to be talking about three uh, contemporary trends in language, and I say contemporary in quotes because really all three of these things are, I'm going to be talking about examples sort of over the last 20 or even 25 years. And so contemporary in sort of a broad sense doesn't mean it happened yesterday or something, but something that's happened within the last two decades or so, which if you think about it from a linguistic time frame, is incredibly rapid. Languages take hundreds and thousands of years to develop, and so for something to, for a language to be experiencing such a rapid shift in 20 years can be pretty amazing. So we're going to be talking about three things. Number one, social media and texting communication. Number two, blogging. And number three, modern activism. And I want you to think about what all of these things have in common, and maybe write down some of your own ideas. But the idea that I came to is that, among other things, they all involve broad audiences. The point, at least sometimes, is to get as many people listening to what you're saying as possible. A shifting audience, by which I mean the audience may not always be the same. They may not be people you personally know. They very often are not people you personally know. The audience target may be different depending on the context. Uh, your activism may be trying to affect, let's say, local government officials, or it might be uh, designed to affect international audiences, and it may depend on the day and what you're doing and what the specific project is. Another thing that, and I think it's connected to the first thing, another thing that occurs to me as a common theme between all of these is the concept that I'm calling hypersalience. And hypersalience is used in uh, some other disciplines. And so, um, like, I think that it has a banking, there's a banking term, this hypersalience, that's not what I mean. Uh, what I mean by that is, so there's this concept uh, within linguistic anthropology and just more broadly the study of language where we talk about salience and also just the study of culture. So how widespread an idea is in, in essence, you know, if I was to take 10 people off the street here in Soldatna and ask them, you know, is Soldatna a good place to fish? Most likely 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 people, assuming they actually responded to this random stranger accosting them with a strange dumb question, probably 9 out of 10 or 10 out of the 10 people would have said, yeah, yeah, Soldatna is a great place to fish. It's kind of what Soldatna is about. By contrast, if I was to go up to somebody, uh, ran 10 people randomly in Soldatna and ask them, hey, can you tell me about what was going on during Grant Morrison's epic run on New X-Men, specifically at the start of the run during the E for, is for Extinction storyline. Probably, unless I had you know, the chance of running into a fellow comic nerd, probably nobody's going to know what the heck I'm talking about. So maybe one or two people, max, absolute max. So the comic stuff is not very salient. Most of the populace is not familiar with it. The fishing, the concept of Soldatna as a fishing hub is highly salient. So that's what I'm talking about, about salience. And so the purpose of social media, blogging, and modern activism is we'll see part of what makes those forms of communication work and part of the currency that people are working with is their ability to tap into highly salient discourses, um, well-known concepts, ideas, tropes, and symbols, and then reinvent them in creative ways, or just pass them along even.